A new shortage in EpiPens means uh, an extended expiration date by the FDA. Dr. Slims Ronnie joins us right now with what that means. We were talking before the break. This is something where the prices were skyrocketed and people complaining, and now generics coming out shortly. But there's a shortage of all this. You know, a shortage of drug is not something new. It always happens with all the drugs. We deal with those shortages in hospital every single day. So one of the thing is the EpiPen is kind of a life-threatening. And a lot of the people are saying, oh my God, we extended the duration of expiry date by four months. Is it safe or not? So let me tell you, I think there has been a lot of confusion. People go with the expiration date that, oh my God, you open the shell when you try to take a pill, blood pressure, heart, headache, and you say, oh my God, it's expired, you can't take it. That's not really true. Because the expiry date is like, this, till this time, the company can guarantee that everything is what you pay for. Mm -hmm. It is, everything is 100%. But on the other hand, a lot of the company loves having a shorter expiry because then you have to restock the thing and then they sell it. So there was a very nice study which was done by FDA, which military asked the FDA to do it because they have a lot of a stockpile of the drugs in case of any national emergencies. And what they found was that 90% 90, 90 of the 100 drugs what they tested actually were very efficacious even up to 15 years after their expiry date. Okay, my mother uh, relies on an EpiPen because she has a severe allergy that can end up killing her. It's, so I know every year she's like, okay, it's time to replace that EpiPen. So how long can she ideally keep it? Well, based on this study, what you can see is there was a study done in 2000 and then there were another study done. And what they found was that up to 29 months, it was 90% efficacious, and up to four years, it was 84% of the efficacy. So it is still very efficacious. So if you don't have it, you can use it, but at the same time, you have to make sure that you know it's not just sitting in the sunlight or something, but there are certain medication which you have to be cautious. For example, insulin, mm -hmm. liquid antibiotic, because they're already mixed up. So the expiry is just a one set limit, but on the other hand, if it is a simple thing, uh, you need to take it, you can take it. But somebody who has a very severe anaphylaxis reaction and they wanted 100% of that drug efficacy, then you need to think about uh, replacing that. I was going to say, so keeping it maybe for backup if you're a little skeptical, because, you know, hey, there's some people that are skeptical of that. Um, it's interesting to hear that, to think about that, and I would imagine talk with your doctor just to make sure. Absolutely, talk to um, the pharmacists, doctors. Because some doctors. pills, I know some pills do fade out over time. I mean, they uh, lose, like you said, they're Like tetracycline, for example, but the data is controversial. But majority of the tablets, you know, it is like if kept in optimal conditions. optimal condition it can be there safe for a long time so it is not surprising that the FDA went ahead and extended the duration by four months because they know very well from the previous data that you can go up to even a year but they just want to be very safe uh, for your health and for the right reason and with medical costs it's so expensive nowadays people are trying to find any way they can to the save generic it, so. drugs will help I think yeah. Dr. Sarani we appreciate you sir thank you likewise